there! I'm going to show you my new favorite Chrome extension, Tango. It is by far the easiest way I've ever created a workflow slash tip sheet. Let's check it out. I'm going to come up to the top and click on my Chrome extension for Tango. It looks like this. Then I'm going to click Capture Workflow. It's going to give me a screen that says Capture Started, and then you'll see that I have a highlight bar that pops up. It's basically going to record the clicks I make with my mouse. So I'm just going to show somebody how to start a Google slide deck, something very simple. So in my Google Drive, I'll click on New. Then I'll go down to Google Slides. Click on that, which opens a new slide deck, as you know. My Tango is going to follow me over here. I'm going to type in Test. And then here, I'm going to type in title and here I'm going to type in name. Then I'm going to come up here and add a new slide and say that this is going to be our about me information. And let's say that's all I wanted in my workflow. I'll come down here and click on the check that says complete. And it's going to say that I've created a new workflow with Google. So I can edit anything in here. So I'm going to say using Google Slides as my workflow. And it's going to give me, go to my drive, Google Drive, click on new, and it sends me my screen, my screenshots right here. I can even link to the page if you wanted to link to a, a website or give a description. If you have an extra step, like right here, it says click on skip to main content. I can click here and delete it. Then it says click on Google Slides and there's no screenshot. So I'm going to go back to my Google Drive and I'm going to click on new and then go highlight my Google Slides and I'm going to take a screenshot so I can add it into the um, Tango. Then I'm just going to add my screenshot that I took right into the Tango. And the really cool thing is now that I have it in there, I can add a rectangle to highlight what I wanted just like it is on every other slide. I can even blur or crop the photo. So maybe I want to blur out all of this that what my other folders say. And then I can click save and my image is saved like that. So then I'm going to say name your slide deck because that's always the first thing we do. I am going to do another rectangle and put it right here. And then I'm going to click save. And then that's step four. Step five says click on drop down trigger. So I'm going to say click on plus drop down. And then it, I'm going to say select the next slide for your deck. Okay, and that was all I did, right? So I selected the next slide for my deck. And then I can say here, insert step. So I'm going to say re repeat adding slides until uh, slide deck is finished. Okay, and I don't have to do a screenshot there. I can if I want to. Then I can click save or I can click share and export. So I'm going to save it. And then I can share and I can export it. So I can send it to people by email. I can do a magic copy, which puts it right into any product that supports HTML. I usually use Google Docs. I can download it as a PowerPoint or I can live embed it into something. So you can also send a link with the clipboard. So if I send the link, it looks like this. It opens up and it just shows you the workflow. If I share and export and I do a download, let me show you what a PDF looks like. So this is my PDF and it has all of your steps right there with your directions and voila, you are done with your tip sheet slash workflow and you're good to go. How awesome is that? So like I said, check out Tango. See you next time. Bye.